So after, oh, I would say, probably about three hours or so of tinkering around and trying to figure out what the heck was going on, the only thing I could come up with was the fact that the one by one tires, wheels, that I had placed on here as the landing gear, which work 99.9% .9 of the time anywhere, everywhere, including here, that at some point when it's coming in contact with the large grid, it caused that really insane world coming apart sim speed crushing uh, anomaly so I've gone back uh, quite a few um, saves just to basically come back to where possibly much prior to any kind of game hiccup and I'm going to um, disassemble this because I did find that in my experimenting that there was some um, serious flaws in my design um, one mainly is because of the um, <laughs> um, that there was no way that it would make it out of even uh, past 10,000 meters let alone all the way into orbit so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this apart Is going to be overkill? Oh, yeah. What is that my Canadian friends would say? Go big or stay home? <laughs> uh. Okay. control here I 
thinking about it. Maybe I should throw a few more on there. Once it gets some mass, it will definitely need some extra reactionary thrusts. See how this looks for right now. Okay, landing gear. Unlock. Unlock. Okay, so any stress that was on those gear is now off because I just unlocked them. I hope. I hope that's the way that works. Ah. <laughs> uh. So just in case, put a couple timer blocks on here because I don't know what I might or might not need. Programmable blocks in here. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. just remembered exactly why I was thinking about making a cage on the top of the um, the drone here that is because I wanted to fall off now, I was actually thinking ahead, unknowingly, about the parachutes. Gee, where are they? There's the parachute bot thing, and uh, don't need it on the remote anymore, so we'll do that. Yes. Yes. And this will be the uh, backup system <laughs> in case it's uh, coming back a little too crazy. Um, I wonder This will be for my for the ride up there because of course I'm going to accompany the drone throughout its testing phases and uh, I don't know how long that'll take but uh, we'll see <laughs> this is just an experiment <laughs> something something neat that I wanted to do Uh, let's see, so I have a remote control, an antenna, I have a beacon, but I don't really need a beacon. A couple of timer blocks, um, 
couple of programmable blocks. Okay, well then I guess, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's make 20 canvas. Now, I need a place to basically land the vehicle, land this drone. And I was thinking that maybe a good idea would be to come off the center of this pad, come out. I want to really just get rid of these things. Oops! come out from there that should be a good idea I'm gonna run down here and see if I can finish this pillar. I need four small steel tubes for that. All right. 
night. Let's go till we run out of energy. Can I finish it? Uh, denied. Alright, so... I started thinking that it would be nice to have access to all of the, um, well, I guess I'd say the, um, <laughs> I had it all worked out. I was going to say something really poignant here. Um, have, like, cargo access for, um, Cargo access. <laughs> what the way? I don't have to run all the way back to one of the other spots over there, um, like where the prospector is at. So, I should just have to go down here grab what I need for a cargo container and that should take care of everything that I needed <clears throat> to do that so I grabbed enough for two cargo containers because that's just how I roll there we go there we go so I'll do a little naming thing here Okay, there, there. Oh, see that, and that. Okay, there we go. Boom. And then this will be. And it doesn't need to be in the terminal or the toolbar config. There we go. Wander over here. There we go. Just for the heck of it, I want to see if it's going to fit. It'll if it'll work. It should. Ah! Zigzagging all over the place. Parking brake is now off. Okay, so let me see, what are we looking at? Oh, I'm pretty well lined up. Just want to uh, make sure sucker out there so I can see where I can aim. I 
Yeah, it looks like I'm lined up. Let me set the parking brake and see. I'll bet that it's, um... I'll bet that it's too high. Yeah, 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 it's too high. So, can I drop the suspension down anymore? Probably could. It needs to come down probably three and a half meters, three meters or so. Oh. go we are golden I'm gonna leave the break off here we go now that's connected so now any batteries or whatever will uh, recharge the uh, solar panels will do their thing Oh yeah, that's like almost perfect. Excellent. All right, so the next thing that I have on the agenda, aside from doing this, getting this pad set up, is I think that I need to go ahead and. Um, Get some ice. We'll get some ice for this. Um, what I will do is um, as a temporary setup, I will. throw this up here because what I plan on doing is I'm gonna go get the um, the quad go mine some ice
we'll go to one of the distance ones here. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Just going down for some ice. Just don't want to make big holes over by the base, that's all. See, I've done it before. They come in kind of gentle like. So I'm very heavy. Look, it's kind of busy in here now. Okay. So, let's see if this temporary setup will work. Alright, so... Um... Seven. Eight. I want inventory, I'd empty, um, CD2, So, that seemed to work. Let's put this guy away. So then, what I need to do is make sure this is empty and then remove it. Alright, so that is definitely empty. Red, goodbye, and goodbye. Because those guys were just, <laughs> those were just temporary. Then what I need to do is to go to the, where is it, 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 where is it? Turn these guys on. Hydrogen tanks. All right, so that should service them up while it's charging too. I'm kind of curious. Let me take a look and see what the batteries say. Okay, well, yeah, it's going to take for a little while. I really do wish they would make it so that if there was a group and you select it, they would actually uh, show. 
Gyros, gyros. Gyros. Where's the gyros? Gyroscopes, right there. Off. Connector lights, landing lights, landing gear. Ammo, main, da -da -da -da, beacon. Connector, hydrogen tanks are on. That can be shut off for now. Parachutes. They're off for right now. Small reactor in the passenger seat will get removed eventually. Ba -ba 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 oh, look at that. Those guys are filling up quick. Wow. Hydrogen tanks are full. All right, so large cargo container still has 19.5K of, uh, of ice. So then, you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to pilot that. I need to turn the antenna on. Control panel. Antenna on. Drop this down to 2,500 meters because I'm not going to be that far away. Do 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 Alright, so I'll just get over here. Cargo drone. Uh, terminal. Atmo thrusters. On. Directional thrusters. On. Remote control is on. Hydrogen tanks are on. Control. So now if I just go, uh, no. If I go up. Uh, oh! It's not enough power. Not enough power. See if I turn the parachutes, batteries, O2, shut those guys off, landing gear. Okay, everything else is off that needs to be off. Small reactor. Oh, you know what? How much do each one? Oh, each one requires 700. <laughs> ah. Alright, so I'll tell you what. How about. Every Let's shut those off. Let's see if that will work. Obviously, I mean, I could, I could turn on the hydros. I could use just the hydros. There's no reason why I can't. Atmo off. Alright. Oh. 
forgot I gotta turn on the uh, the gyros too. Okay, drone terminal batteries. They're gonna be normal. <laughs> See, that's another thing I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, let's try it without the uh, hydros. <clears throat> Turn those all on. Those thrusters are on. So then I am going to do out control. All right. So now those are unlocked. Dampers are on, and I want to go forward. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, and now I wanna go up, right? No, I wanna go down. go this way, right? Oh, wow. I'm already close to being lined up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Let me uh, go in reverse here. Um, now line that up. Okay. Um, oh. All right. Oh, what am I doing? All I gotta do is this. And it's connected. I probably should have rotated a little bit, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right. Terminal. Huh. I don't know why it's doing that. CD2 gyroscopes. Oh, I did that all without the gyroscopes on. Well, that's not good. Shut those guys off. Batteries, we turn those on. Batteries are recharging on their own. Thrusters, thrusters, thrusters off. Atmo off. This is kind of weird that this stuff is doing that. It's being it, it different colors for some reason. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It works. Oh, look. That's why I don't have to worry about it. It's uh, <laughs> just, uh, just tall enough. Okay. Well, that was um, that was a success. Baby steps. Baby steps. This is the first time I've ever even contemplated doing something like this, so... Baby steps. I guess the next thing will be... Is to take it as it is... And see if it can reach orbit from here... And uh, we'll see how high the Atmos will take it up. And then, obviously, the four large thrusters will undoubtedly push it easily the rest of the way, I would hope. <laughs> I would hope. It's going to be empty, so 